All right, in this one, we're going to build a condenser microphone. And this is actually a working microphone. It just needs phantom power. But if you have an audio interface, that's no problem. If you have uh, a preamp, that's no problem usually. So yeah, as simple as this. And the parts cost you, I'd say, probably around five euros. I'm gonna put it put this in this plumbing tube. So that's what I found. I would prefer metal, but I couldn't find any, so I can't do that. Then here we go from Tata. These are the my capsules. Small ones like that. Then we have one capacitor polarized 10k resistor and 2N5457 transistor and I'm gonna I will have the diagram available and then we have this microphone mic uh, plug and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it like this and Lastly, just put a little bit of glue in there and it, it'll work out just fine. Probably have something over there too. Keeps it from uh, sliding when I insert the cable. And then I cut myself this kind of tape. This needs to be a little, a uh, diameter needs to be a little bigger. And that's the thing, I actually do have this Ctronic box too, and we can see that would be a bit better, but it really I can't really get this into the tube. So you have to have a proper sized tube, aluminum, anything like that will do just fine. But there it is, the most basic thing. So there's numbers in these pins and then we have numbers in here as well. One, one is the ground, I think, two. But we can see which goes in which one. So I will take care of that. First of all, I just have to figure out how long we need to have this. So around there. Hmm. And of course, I'm just gonna use my soldering iron. But yeah, a fun little, fun little build. So this one goes into lock number three, which is that one. So I'm gonna put soldier that in place already and then let's begin with that dun, dun, dun. and this is just to show how simple something like this can be and i will also we we will hear how this sounds in the end as well. I'm gonna mic up my guitar cap with it and also I'm gonna do some vocals after this is built. So you can hear how good it actually sounds. Okay, this is a bit tricky. I think it would be good to use some shrink tubing or something, but do I have any? I don't know, but I think this could work. Let's take... Uh, 
a little bit of this and then see if we can do that. Yeah, we can, so. Like that. All right. And that should be it. And now all we have to do is see that it all fits. So dun dun dun. there we go. All right. All right, there we have it. So I just put a ton of that in there. I mean, there's a better way to do it. You for sure can figure that out, how to attach it, you know, properly. A screw or something would be nice. You can, you can find blocks like that, I think, but yeah, it's ready to be tested out, so I'm just gonna hook it up to my audio interface and we're gonna hear some sound samples. All right. All right, there's our microphone. It's ready to be tested, hooked up. We can actually see that the light is blinking, so it's working and we have Studio One open over there so I'm just gonna slap on some effects on the channel and you're gonna hear how it sounds like all right so here we go we can hear it on channel one and without any effects it's not clipping so this is how it sounds like and let's put on some effects here all right so first of all let's find a Let's find a nice little uh, compressor. You gotta be pretty close to the mic. Yeah, now I'm farther away and yeah, around here. It's nice. We're gonna put some CLA 76. There we go. Let's do a vocal. There we go. We can make that a little bigger. And now we can hear. Yeah, there we go. We got rid of the noise. There's some noise level floor here. You can deal with that. This is isotopes. But yeah, voice denoise uh, really, really works. I usually edit my videos with this uh, isotope plugin. Yeah. And then let's slap some reverb and delay on the send. So let's take, there we go. All right. And that's how that sounds like. Let's take a preset here. Vocals, the big one. The big one. Let's put it all the way away. And then do this from the slider. And there you go. That's how the mic sounds like. I mean, you can, you can get really good results with these. And the thing is, when you think about it, I told you you can probably make one with less than five euros. So you can make lots of mics, like miking up a drum set with these, you know, if you can't afford a nice set of mics, well, you could 
just do your own. Have the whole kit mic'd up. Next off, uh, I'm gonna put that inside my isolation box. So my Joyo amp, my guitar amp is hooked up to that. It has a speaker inside. It's mic'd up with two mics. So I'm gonna swap the other one and put this in there instead and we'll see how it sounds like. Alright, as we can see, I'm gonna have a little video here. The mic is inside the isolation box. It's pointed pretty much at the center and we got Studio One open. The same effect on the same channel. I just switched the input and this is how my Joyo amp on the overdrive channel sounds like mic'd up with that mic. So it's pretty good and let's put some effects on there. So yeah, we have a perfectly working microphone, really cheap. I'll put the I'll put the diagram link to my website on the description. So if you want to build build your own, you just follow that. And also I'll put the link to where I order the parts from. I'm gonna link that as well on the description so there you go fun little projects and uh, now i have a <laughs> another mic to add to my collection all right have fun i'm off bye